Hello, everyone. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Um, on another somewhat cloudy. Design is not there. Oh dear. Why is my design not there? It's not entirely helpful. So, I have this great demo for you today, but I don't have the design on my USB stick, and maybe Tyler will come rescue me while I talk about other things. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps <laughs> so I'm gonna talk and do things at the same time which is not gonna be super helpful but here we are that's what I'm gonna do um, let me just send him a quick note and say help <laughs> some days everything goes sideways <laughs> which is okay but it never makes things easier. Um, I did have this design open a moment ago and it should still be open, but it's not. Um, so a couple things right off the bat. Um, I scheduled two things in the calendar. I don't know if they're, they're in the calendar yet, um, but they're coming up in September. So the first thing uh, that's going on uh, kind of shortly after the long weekend, um, we are doing um, the files that are not on my USB stick. I need to export from software. <laughs> okay. I can do the clicky clicky, but I can't move the USB stick and stand camera. Of course. <laughs> One of those things. So, um, September 10th and 11th, we are going to, uh, I think it's called the Great Canadian Scrapbook Carnival. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, so uh, we're going to be taking scan and cut and some embroidery machines with us. Um, currently, a whole bunch of our staff members are away that week. So I'm going to the show on my own, unless I have a customer advocate who loves their scan and cut that would like to come play for a day. Or part of a day, or even a few hours would be uh, hugely helpful. So if you know somebody who loves their scan and cut, um, have them drop me a line at education at mysewingroom.ca. And that would be... That would be wonderful if we could do that. So we are gonna re-export this file so I can do the demo I wanna do today. Maybe it was there and I just didn't get it opened. I was looking in the wrong folder. <laughs> oh. seems, seems like a Leah problem today. <laughs> I didn't name it very well. <laughs> Can I hand you that? We should be able to just uh, close close the design and software and ex eject the USB stick, theoretically. <laughs> um, so that's the first thing we schedule. So that's September 10th and 11th. More information will be in the E News. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More information coming soon, probably in the E News. Uh, the other thing we scheduled today is a What's New with Brothers. So this is something we do almost every fall, and that is where we um show you what's coming up new with brother and our lovely um our lovely brother team uh lynn swanson and vanessa um will be in store so we're having we're having real live guests visit us september 15th guest spot on the on the live yeah so they're gonna join us both for uh a, like a registered zoom class in the afternoon to get all the details um and then a facebook live Oh, there's the design. I feel I feel less ridiculous now. Um, also for Facebook Live on September 15th. And then if the winner of the Brother NQ575 sewing machine is nearby, we'll get them to, them to come in. And uh, because it's a Brother sponsor giveaway this summer, we'll get the ladies at Brother to give it away. If we can. If they're not close by, that, that's been known to happen. Did everything change? No, it should be okay. We're just going to back clean which is not a big deal. Okay, I have no idea what's happening. I'm hoping this works. <laughs> <laughs> All under control, I swear. Um, so those are the two things that are going in the calendar tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler's giving me side eye like, are you serious right now? <laughs> right away. So more information coming on both those things soon. Mm, you guys have... 
about 12 days to shop in our summer giveaway program. So if you want to win that Brother NQ575 sewing machine, you have to shop online. $50 before tax and shipping. And we'll get you entered into the draw to win a sewing machine. Just so you know, this isn't like a like a bottom of the barrel sewing machine. Uh, it's a sewing machine valued at $1,000. So it would be nice to win. I don't have an extra $1,000 sitting around for an extra sewing machine right now. So it would be lovely to win. But I wrote the rules and I'm not allowed to win. So <laughs> that's okay. Um, Bernina sale ends at the end of the month. So Bernina's Burnett's are on sale. Uh, we have a couple clear out specials on a few select machines in store right now, as well as some floor models still available. So lots going on, lots of options. There's more stuff coming for the fall. I'm trying to get it all scheduled. <laughs> it's like it's like having a puzzle where you have none of the edge pieces and no picture to follow, and all the pieces are blue. So they don't actually fit together in any easy manner whatsoever. I'm trying to coordinate a whole bunch of people's schedules and... Um, product arriving in time for such things. So hang tight. There is stuff coming. As soon as we have details, we'll share them with you. So on that note, this afternoon, I am going to give you guys a short tour of cutwork embroidery. Um, we're going to be doing this on a Bernina sewing machine using Bernina's cutwork tool. And if you want to know more about digitizing cutwork, our Bernina Creative Studio software class on Saturday morning, so like in two days, um, we'll be covering the finer details of digitizing your own cut work and how to get from, I want, I want holes in my embroidery to actually having them. Um, so if you haven't looked at software before and you're thinking maybe it would be fun, um, this week's, this month's project is, is really cool. So I'm actually going to stitch out the project we're learning how to digitize on Saturday today, and then we'll go backwards. Saturday, we'll show you how to get there is essentially the game plan. And tomorrow Anna's making a baby change lat in our Bernina Creative Studio project class. Uh, one more one more note, uh, anybody who's looking for Aunt Annie's this afternoon, we apologize there was a family thing that had to happen and we did delay class. So if you weren't there this afternoon, you didn't miss class because it didn't happen. So there is an email in your inbox about that. So without further ado, I'm gonna switch cameras. We're gonna talk a little bit about cut work. We're going to stitch a little bit, and then we're going to do some. We're going to do some cut work. It's going to be fun. So I'm going to move to that camera. I have no preview, so I have no idea if you can see what I'm hoping you can see. That's not bad. And now this doesn't fit in the hoop. <laughs> oh dear. We're just going to get rid of the extras. Design is bigger than my large oval. Oh, I'm going to do a tiny little bit of editing on board the machine. I apologize for the delay. You can't see what I'm doing on screen here. Now it should fit in a large oval hoop. I saved the day. We're all good. Put our design back together. Make sure I'm threaded for embroidery with embroidery tension. Uh, so the first uh, little part of uh, cut work here is uh, doing some stabilization stitches so that my fabric and my stabilizer move together and stay connected well well, I stitch. Um, I'm going to be using uh, the number 44, which is the cutwork foot for the Bernina. And we'll be putting the straight stitch cutwork plate on the machine. Don't look too closely. I don't actually have that. Oh, no, I do have that stitch plate here. Like it started raining and I forgot how to do all the things I was planning to do today. Straight, straight stitch cut work plate. There we go. So, off we go. The 
the first thing I'm going to do on this, uh, this could be a napkin, be a table runner. I'm going to do a, a motif based, um, which is a basting stitch around the area where I'm going to stitch. And then we'll get going on the rest of the stitches. It's going to let us trim that tail. I don't have a tail to trim. Hoping the yellow shows up okay once we get going here. Next step is just some stabilization runs. The Bernina Cutwork tool can be used with any machine with any of the Bernina embroidery machines. The Cutwork tool is not specific to a top of the line machine. You could do this on the 5 series, you could do this on the 7 series or the 8s. And it's a, just a really neat way of making fancy embroidery. This is stabilizing runs here. And then the fun thing that happens next is we're going to switch out our needle and remove our thread from the top of the machine. And we're going to put the cutwork tool in in place of the needle. So what that's going to look like, I might not stitch all of this this afternoon. Uh, the cutwork tool is a tiny little tool. Um, it sits up into the uh, needle clamp and it has four positions. So the machine will tell you what position to start in. Pretty much the rule is you start in position one and then you you move as you go. Uh, the, little, the little knife essentially that's here can be removed and replaced. And each of these positions is a different cutting position. So in software, uh, the machine, the software figures out to cut around a whole circle, you need your knife oriented in four different directions. So our cuts here, it's just going to cut up and down with that little blade in place of the needle. There is not something similar for Brother at this point in time. Uh, we're going to move to cut two. I'm going to turn the white wheel. Stitches some other parts of the design, or cuts some other parts of the design. Move to cut three. So even if your machine can't do this, you can trim um, applique out. You can, it's essentially reverse applique is kind of what's happening here. So instead of trimming around the outside of your stitches, you can trim on the inside. And we're going to pull this off the machine. I grabbed the ungrouped design. <laughs> Had a grouped version at home. Didn't grab the grouped version. So it's almost cut all the way through, um, all the way around. And I am just going to give it a little trim. Um, in software class on Saturday, we'll talk about how you can group that so it does all the cuts for the whole design all in one go. Heavyweight cutaway stabilizer in there. And then to keep things from moving, when we go back to stitching on here, I'm going to use a little bit of wash away stabilizer. I'm just going to tape it over the back of the embroidery. Away tape from OESD. I'll show you guys this on camera in a moment.
This will help stabilize when we go back to stitching. So a little bit of wash away stabilizer just in the back there. We'll be able to wash this out afterwards. Make sure that's all in control. We take the tool back out, put our needle back in, and re-thread the machine. It's telling us to go back to stitching. Gonna stitch away. Just back down line for that stabilizer on the back. Help keep it in place. lace to chain for the satin stitch finish and the lace fill. This will have a, a stitching design inside. Inside the hole, I should say. Stitch is going to cover the edge of the hole. Find out I had little purple thread bits from my fabric in there that I should have paid more attention to. But that's okay. There are those two, two types of embroiderers. Those who test and those who wish they had tested. So it's very similar to many of the other ways of getting um, a hole in your embroidery. Uh, generally, this is cut with scissors, so you can definitely cut cut work with scissors. Um, but the Bernina tool is very, very slick, and you are able to do um, other types of cutting with it. And super tiny little holes that would be hard to hard to cut with scissors, um, like eyelets, um, much, much easier to embroider this way. I'm going to go and do another stabilizing run for our second hole. Switch out needle and thread for the cutwork tool again. Unthreading the machine all the way so you don't get thread tangling up inside of it. Put that back on the machine and then turn it back to one. I left it on four when I stopped last time. I'm just gonna go back to one. Two. Common places to find cutwork embroidery uh, nap 
pin corners are often often done with cut work uh, table linens bread baskets um, you could definitely do um, some cut work embroidery um, in a garment something like a blouse uh, or a woven garment top you can add cut work to it See a comment in there. Denise hasn't done cut work with her machine. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. So we're going to go back to go back to sewing, go back to embroidery. The needle back in, get that extra fabric back out of there. Read it totally the wrong place. Take a little piece of stabilizer on the back there before I hit go. General rule of stabilizer cut and trim what's on flat on the table. And usually there's just the odd little thread that needs a little snip. Whatever could have been stabilized a little sturdier with some fusible wool then. Another piece of Wash away on the back. As soon as I find the scissors I set down. We'll finish this one up and then I'll show you guys. Final result. Somewhat final result. These have been groups. They would have stayed together way better. That's okay. I did make them fit the hoop I had for the demo I was trying to do. And back to finishing the edges of that hole with embroidery. So with the with the software, there's multiple types of holes you can make. Uh, you can make holes with that lace fill, you can make holes without lace fill, change the edge types, you can have raw edges or uh, covered edges. It's really, really, really cool. And then other instances where you might uh, use your cut work tool, it show off. Okay, so purple and yellow embroidery, that's my plan. <laughs> Finish up the satin stitch, then I'll show you the other stuff on the table behind me. <laughs> There's some cool stuff back there.
Excellent question. Um, I'm just gonna hit go and let this stitch and this cameras here. So the so sorry guys, you weren't watching that at all. There we go. Totally forgot to change cameras back. <laughs> we could cut one more hole soon. <laughs> uh, no, we should keep we should keep talking. We'll talk about the other things as that finishes stitching. So uh, to do cut work, uh, you can either buy designs that already have cut work um, as an option. Um, some of the napkin corners, um, if you have software, you could turn those into cut work files um, with your Bernina uh, designer software. So napkin corners are a very common place to find cut work. Could cut it out with scissors, could cut it out with the tool if you have the tool. Um, from a software standpoint, uh, the full Bernina embroidery software V8 or the uh, coming out soon V9 software has cut work built into it. So you can digitize cut work right in your embroidery software. Um, but if you just want to do artsy things, um, you can get the design work software which has crystal works, cut work, and paint work options in it. And you can buy uh, activation codes for each of those. So I have a paint work code and base software or a cut work code and base software. I don't have pricing in front of me today because none of these things are stickered. Um, email sewing machines at mysewingroom.ca for pricing. Um, but there is an entire cut work collection. And then the tool itself so entire cut work collection uh, from Bernina. Oh, there's some. There's a dinosaur on there. It's cute. <laughs> I should I should make uh, cut work dinosaurs. <laughs> that would crack me up. Um, you can get the entire collection, and then the cut work tool itself uh, comes with the number forty four foot and the little attachment you put in where your needle goes. And then you would get the specific stitch plate for your machine. Um, but sometimes the straight stitch plate you already have with your machine is the correct one. So the stitch plates with the orange square. Um... Oh, camera. Sorry, guys. My one my one camera preview isn't working today. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep. You're looking at the wrong place. I don't, I don't got this under control. <laughs> today I need a camera person. <laughs> Um, okay, let's let's recap. So cutwork tool uh, comes with the number 44 foot as well as the tool that actually goes in the machine to cut. Um, the stitch plates, uh, you might already have one if you got a straight stitch plate with your machine. It probably has an orange square on the back. Um, they're called straight stitch cutwork plates. They have dual purpose, um, usually an orange square. There's a cutwork companion CD. This is the one with the dinosaurs that I got all excited about. I did say something about a dinosaur. <laughs> so some of these are more applique designs. Some are um, like holes in an applique design, um, reverse applique. There's there's some funky things you can do with this tool. So that's available. Go back and talk about the other, the other parts. Um, if you're not ready to jump into full digitizing software, um, there is the design works suite which works with the other two uh, specialty tools uh, that Bernina has. So that would be the paintwork tool and the crystal work tool. So the crystal work tool can cut template material for rhinestones. Uh, the paintwork tool can actually uh, draw on your fabric with your embroidery machine. It's crazy and it's super cool. Maybe another day. I'm not ready to do that demo today. Maybe in the fall. Um, and then base software plus an activation code for whichever uh, type of fancy stuff you want to do with your embroidery machine. So there's paintwork, crystal works, and uh, cut work. So there's more than one way to get there. You can either do cut work with your V8, V9 software, or get the standalone uh, design work suite. So other places where you might find cut work, uh, napkin corners. These have some cut work holes in them. So if you've struggled to cut these with your scissors in the edge of a in the corner of a napkin, maybe you want to try the cutwork tool. Some more involved ones with almost lace edges. Could be cut with scissors, could be cut with your cutwork tool. There's more. There's more. I'm going to grab a napkin. Uh, OESD and Bernina aren't the only ones with cutwork designs. 
Uh, there is Cutwork Designs from Kimberbell. So this is, I believe it was called Cutwork Napkin Corners. And it was Kimberbell a la carte round one. So you can still get this file from us. Um, you have to sign up for that particular class and drop your USB stick off. Um, but then you could do some of it on your own. I believe Linda did these without the Cutwork tool, but could be done with the Cutwork tool if you have the Cutwork tool. So those are cool. Great gifts. They make really good gifts. Uh, more napkin corners from OESD. And then if you're interested in the whole Design Works series of fun projects, um, OESD made a collection of uh, three CDs. There may have been four. Nope, three. Three Design Works collections. So these have Cutwork, Paintwork, and Crystal Works designs in them. So that is some of the random stuff that we have that you never knew you needed. But you need, because it's fun. When is Anne's Cutwork class? Mm, I am teaching cutwork digitizing on Saturday. I don't know when we're having a cutwork class yet. <laughs> but if you would like one, email education at mysewingroom.ca and we can work on making that happen. Um, yeah, nothing currently scheduled, but there could be. There could be. So that's what I have for you guys today. It is nearly five o'clock. Thanks for hanging out and watching the not, not the smoothest demo I've ever done, but thanks for sticking around and watching it go. And we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. We're going to do a weekly giveaway for that Brother Summer of Sewing contest. So get your online orders in. Uh, there's just under two weeks to get entered into that sewing machine draw. So thank you guys. Uh, be safe. Be kind.